Did you know that a single ladybug can devour up to 50 aphids a day? That's right, not all bugs are pests. There's a common misconception that every insect is a garden's enemy or that chemical pesticides are the only effective solution. But today, we're debunking these myths. Organic pest control methods are not only sustainable but highly effective too. So if you thought going organic means surrendering your garden to pests, think again. Mother Nature has her own fantastic pest control system, Natural Predators. Let's dive into this fascinating world of natural pest control. Picture this, a garden teeming with life, not just plants but also a diverse array of creatures, each playing their part in maintaining the balance. This is not a fantasy but a reality we can all achieve. Take ladybugs for instance. These vibrant little beetles are more than just a pretty sight. They're voracious predators with a particular fondness for aphids, a common garden pest. A single ladybug can consume up to 50 aphids a day. That's right, 50. That's like having your own tiny red armored pest control agent patrolling your garden. But the wonders don't stop there. Spiders, often seen as creepy crawlies, are actually our allies in the garden. They're nature's very own pest control specialists, preying on a variety of insects. So next time you see a spider web in your garden, think of it as a natural pest trap. And let's not forget our feathered friends. Birds, particularly species like robins, bluebirds, and sparrows, are excellent at controlling insect populations. These birds feast on beetles, caterpillars, and other pests that can wreak havoc on your garden. Now you might be thinking, that's great, but how do I attract these natural predators to my garden? Well, it's simpler than you might think. For ladybugs and spiders, having a diverse range of plants helps. They're attracted to a variety of flowers and shrubs, especially those that produce nectar and pollen. As for birds, consider setting up birdhouses or feeders to invite them into your space. Providing a source of water like a birdbath can also be a significant draw for these winged predators. Remember, the goal is to create a balanced ecosystem where these natural predators can thrive. This not only helps control pests, but also contributes to the overall health and diversity of your garden. Encouraging these beneficial creatures into your garden is a simple and effective way to keep pests in check. So, let's embrace Mother Nature's pest control system and create healthier, more vibrant gardens. Plants have friends too, and these friendships can keep pests away. Now let's take a moment to ponder the concept of companion planting. In the natural world, certain plants have a harmonious relationship that can be used to our advantage. Just like us, they have companions that they grow better with. This is not a fairy tale but a scientifically proven phenomenon that gardeners have been leveraging for centuries. Imagine a garden where plants help each other grow. Where the aroma of one plant repels the pests that usually feast on its neighbor. This is the power of companion planting. A natural pest control method that works by pairing plants that mutually benefit each other. Let's explore some examples of effective plant pairings that deter pests. First, we have the classic combination of tomatoes and basil. Not only do these make a delightful pairing in the kitchen, but in the garden too. The robust scent of basil helps keep thrips, whiteflies, and even mosquitoes away from tomato plants. Next, we have the corn, beans, and squash trio, often referred to as the Three Sisters. Native American tribes have been planting these three together for thousands of years. The corn provides a natural trellis for the beans to climb, the beans enrich the soil with nitrogen for the corn and squash, and the squash's large leaves shade the soil keeping it moist and discouraging weeds. Another great example is the pairing of marigolds with just about any garden vegetable. These vibrant flowers emit a strong odor that pests detest, protecting their plant companions from unwanted visitors. Remember, not all plants play well together. For instance, planting dill and carrots together will attract the carrot rust fly, a pest that's detrimental to both plants. In essence, companion planting is about understanding these relationships, and using them to create a balanced, thriving, and pest-free garden. It's a method that asks us to observe, understand, and mimic nature. It's a testament to the fact that nature, when left to its own devices, has a way of taking care of itself. With the right plant partners you can create a pest-free garden. Who knew your kitchen pantry holds the secret to pest-free gardens? Indeed it's not just about the delicious meals you can whip up from those shelves, they're also a gold mine for creating your very own do-it-yourself pest repellents. You'll be surprised how common household items can be your secret weapon against those pesky garden intruders. Let's start with garlic. Yes, that pungent clove isn't only for sautéing your favorite dishes, it's also a potent pest repellent. 
Simply blend two whole bulbs with a small amount of water, let it sit overnight then strain it into a jar, topping it off with water until it's full. Spray this concoction on your plants and watch those pests flee. Next up is chili. This fiery ingredient doesn't just spice up your food but also keeps pests at bay. Blend half a cup of hot peppers with two cups of water, strain the mixture and there you have it. A hot and spicy deterrent for those unwelcome garden guests. And lastly vinegar. It's not just a great salad dressing or a cleaning agent. Its acidity also makes it an effective pest repellent. Mix three parts water to one part vinegar and spritz it around your garden. But remember, while it's lethal to pests, it can also be harmful to plants if used excessively. So, use it sparingly. These simple DIY recipes are not only easy to make but they're also cost effective. You don't need to break the bank buying chemical-laden pesticides that can harm both you and the environment. Plus, they're safe to use around children and pets. So the next time you see pests feasting on your plants, don't reach out for that can of harmful pesticide. Instead, walk to your kitchen and whip up these easy, eco-friendly pest repellents. Remember, the secret to a pest-free garden might just be sitting in your pantry. These DIY repellents are not only effective but also safe for you and the environment. Sure, chemical pesticides might seem like a quick fix, but at what cost? Now let's take a look at the other side of the coin, the dark side if you will. Chemical pesticides. They're often seen as the go-to solution when pests invade our gardens. But have we ever stopped to consider the real price we're paying for this so-called quick fix? Chemical pesticides have been linked to a host of health issues in both humans and wildlife. From allergies and asthma to more serious conditions like cancer and neurological disorders, the list is alarmingly long, and it's not just those who handle these chemicals that are at risk. Even passive exposure such as residues on food or in drinking water can have detrimental effects on our health. But it's not just us. The impact on the environment is equally concerning. Pesticides don't discriminate between pests and beneficial insects. The decline of bees and other pollinators has been linked to the widespread use of these chemicals. And it doesn't stop there. Pesticides can leach into soil and water systems, wreaking havoc on ecosystems and affecting everything from the smallest microorganisms to the largest predators. And let's not forget about the bigger picture. Pesticides contribute to the problem of pest resistance, effectively creating super pests that are harder to control. This leads to a vicious cycle of increased pesticide use and more resistant pests. Now imagine a world where we don't have to compromise our health or the health of our planet for a pest-free garden. This is where organic pest control comes in. It offers a sustainable and effective alternative to chemical pesticides. By working with nature rather than against it, we can create balanced ecosystems where pests are naturally kept in check. So the next time you reach for that bottle of chemical pesticide, think about the real costs. Remember, a quick fix is often not the best fix. Choosing organic pest control is choosing a safer, healthier world for us and future generations. So are you ready to make the switch to organic pest control? Let's take a moment to reflect on what we've covered. We've debunked myths showing that organic pest control is not only possible, but also incredibly effective. We've explored the wonders of natural predators, highlighting how they can be the finest soldiers in our battle against pests. We've delved into the power of companion planting, a method that harnesses the natural relationships between plants to deter pests. And we've discovered the magic of do-it-yourself pest repellents which are easy to whip up and are as effective as any chemical product on the market, but without the harmful side effects. Remember the beauty of organic pest control lies in its simplicity and its respect for nature. It's about creating a balanced ecosystem where pests and plants can coexist without the former overpowering the latter. It's about choosing methods that are kind to our bodies, beneficial to our gardens and above all, gentle on our planet. So let's put this knowledge into action. Let's start incorporating natural predators into our gardens. Let's practice companion planting and mix up some homemade repellents. Let's make the choice to protect our health and the environment by saying no to harmful chemicals. Share this video with your friends and family and let's all make the switch to organic pest control because a pest-free garden doesn't have to come at the expense of our health or the environment.